Hey guys, I want to first welcome you to this bonus section of Expressive Little Faces. I am really excited about the book, so proud of it. And yet I understand that coming to a video platform versus a book platform and vice versa, one cannot replace the other. And if you can get both, that is an awesome bonus to help you cover your bases, to kind of go slower in the book when you just want to look at one image and to follow along in a video when you have that opportunity. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to build a face from beginning to end and show you just how simple it can be. The face I'm going to paint is going to be bigger than your typical face. The ones that are shown in the book are actually just about this big. Uh, maybe about a couple of inches. Uh, some of the larger portraits obviously want more detail, you need more space to do that. Uh, but the heart and soul of the book is to make simple faces that show some personality that you build out of your imagination, step by step, facial feature by facial feature, and, and really just push through uh, the fear of making a face, we're not calling them portraits, we're calling them faces, and understanding that there is a common thread. There is kind of a structure that goes along with each face. No matter how unique or distinct or different, you will see the same commonalities and we are going to use that to its full advantage. You're gonna need some watercolor paper. I would say 140 pound and up is what I would call watercolor paper. If you can feed it through your printer, it's not watercolor paper. That's that's kind of how I narrow it down. And watercolor paints. The paints that I'm going to be using are from the Expressive Little Face Tones uh, set that I have developed with Peerless Watercolor Labs. And they're so fun because the paints are activated with water, but really they're a bunch of sheets, so you can take them anywhere. I do have the kit of those paints with a water brush and a little booklet and a nice little package available on my website. The truth is that you don't need those. You can paint with your watercolor paints, uh, whatever they may be. You may use really inexpensive stuff because you're not quite sure what you want to use yet, or you may have your favorites. But like I said, what I'll be using is those expressive face tones and you'll see that there is quite a variety of bright, crazy saturated colors uh, at your disposal in that set. And it just kind of goes with my vibe. So if you like it, I, I recommend that you get it because it's really gonna help you uh, mimic what I'm doing truly. So that then when you go out and do it your way, you know kind of where you wanna change, what you wanna make your own. And, and just start from square one instead of thinking, well, I'm gonna do it my own way and then wonder if you miss something along the way. Uh, other than that, I use a brush or two or three, typically a small, a medium, a large. When it comes to faces that are this size, I don't go over a size eight round sable synthetic watercolor brush. And that is a mouthful, so I'll put it in the notes. Uh, so you see which brushes I use exactly if you want to have the same thing as well. I am ready to get going. You'll notice that something that I did not mention is a pencil. I will go straight to paint and I hope that I can impart that to you, that freedom to go straight to paint and create when you are ready to create. So let's get going. Hey, it is the six month anniversary of this book. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite activities in here. I'm thinking, is it my favorite? Actually, it's not, but um, I've gotten more responses about it than most other things in this book. So I'm gonna do it real quick with you just to celebrate. Uh, when my husband and I were dating, we, we celebrated month anniversaries. <laughs> I waited until the sixth month uh, to celebrate this because I felt like that might be a little silly. So in the book, we take a mango. Today, I'm going to take a lemon. And the purpose of the activity is to be able to, we had already built up the face straight on. And, and by playing with 
an oval type fruit and giving it a face, we shall give it, give ourselves a look into how to handle uh, three quarter faces. So I'm gonna sketch, I look like I need readers the way I'm, I'm looking at this. Um, I'm gonna sketch a face real quick. It's really the, the reflection of the lights on me. Okay, and it's not gonna be real detailed. I just wanna see, I'm, I'm gonna give it little pupils because I wanna see what happens with those eyes. Uh, and that's as good as it's gonna get. There's my face, there's my lady. So what's fun about doing this is that I can take my lemon or mango or other uh, ovalish fruit and turn it and now I see what a three-quarter face looks like. It's not really great uh, in representing the pronunciation of shapes when we turn our heads, but it gives you a framework so that when you're sketching your next face, you know, I should, I, I'm just gonna do that. Get some scrap paper here. You will see the, the way that the, the face kind of follows side to side. So if I were to look at this face, I see that the eyes for shorten, you know, the width of this eye is smaller than the width of that eye. I notice that of course the pupils are no longer around there. They're oval um, and yeah, just better informs how I might draw this face. Hmm. Let's give her some hair. There, that feels a little more natural. A little more natural. <laughs> so in, in the Expressive Little Faces book, uh, this is, I should have had this marked, but you know what, I'll just do a little flip through as I find it. I think it's after proportions, here we go. And we talk about moving the face side to side and seeing how shapes get foreshortened. I personally like drawing a three-quarter face more than anything, uh, more than any other angle. But flat on is fun too. And it's a great way to experiment with different facial features. So you do you. But I just wanted to share that today on the sixth month anniversary of the publishing date of this book, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, I don't know, Walmart, Target, Books A Million, those places. So, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoy them. And you know what? If you do a lemon face or a mango face, share it. I want to see it because that would be hilarious. That'd be great. Thanks.